Welcome back. In this slide, I would like to talk about untapped deployment options. Uh, at the very beginning, the first one is just uh, using your FAS and all flash FAS hardware, which is the usual one. You can buy the hardware and you have untapped install on it, or you can upgrade or downgrade it yourself. So you can start using the uh, untapped operating system on the top of the hardware. So it's the usual one. The other one is FlexPod. In the FlexPod environment, you you are using Cisco as another vendor and you have a, actually a package using the storage with the other technologies from the Cisco. So for example, uh, you have, this is your storage actually. And let's say this is your storage uh, here. And then you have your fabric layer, which is, is a Cisco, like let's say MDS. And then you have your compute. So I call this one compute or your servers. And these are Cisco UCS, for example. So this guy and this guy to here, and we can call the whole package here this is a package and we call it a uh, flex pod. So this is a combination of the NetApp and Cisco. Uh, it's a flex pod environment. The other one is um, flex array, which in the flex array, we are uh, using NetApp. Let's say this is a NetApp technology hardware here and then we are using other vendors like, uh, for example, HDS Hitachi, and they're working together so you can have connection together and use the HDS in combination with the NetApp technology. So this we call this flex array in the uh, NetApp. Uh, the other one is that you, it may be interesting for you is untap select. And this one is a software define storage so software define a storage and this is a hot topic right now uh, it could be interesting for you you can install on tap operating system on a third party hardware or another so another hardware so it's like uh, just an operating system so you have the on tap this is the on tap and you can install it on any hardware that you have. Let's say we have a physical server. This is just our hardware. And we want to implement this on tap uh, on this physical hardware. So on tap select, it's like an appliance. It's like a virtual machine running on the top of the hardware. And that would be really, really easy to manage. Uh, it's really flexible and it's uh, going to be um, less cost actually. Uh, for deploying inside the data centers or especially for the branch offices. Imagine that you have a branch office, a remote location. You don't want to spend that much money on it. So you can use just on tap select and uh, you can just uh, use this one for uh, running on tap on the top of the uh, hardware and start managing it. Uh, there's some uh, specification related to the untap slick and one of them is that uh, you can whether run uh, untap slick on a single node so just one of them is a single node and the other one is that you can have a four node uh, so we can have four nodes running the untap uh, select and uh, the way it works is just like using hypervisors and we are using these appliances running on top of the hypervisors. Uh, so it is it is uh, exactly like the one with the hardware. So you can have the non-disruptive uh, operations and just move around the uh, physical uh, hypervisors and move them. So you can, for example, use VMware ES6 uh, host in order to uh, run this on tap select on the top of this one. Uh, it's pretty awesome and uh, it's good that you don't need uh, the hardware controls from NetApp. Uh, it's going to be, uh, you can save a lot of uh, money here in this uh, conf in, uh, in this way of configuration untap select. 
And so for this untap select, if I want to draw a picture related to the hypervisor, it's like having your uh, physical disks at the bottom on a physical server. Imagine that you have a server that you don't need it. And this is your hardware actually. So this is our disks. This is our hardware. And on the top of the hardware, you have your hypervisor like ES6i host. And then uh, on the top of this one, you can run your untap select. It's like a virtual machine on the top of the uh, hypervisor. And then uh, you can just start running the, the untap select and start getting the uh, services that you want to have from the storage side. Uh, it's going to be really fast and the availability is really good. It's, uh, it's I mean, the price, as I said, it's going to be better for the remote offices. And currently, uh, VMware and KVM are supported with the hypervisor one. So this is the untap select. And another one is untap cloud which again, it's a software defined storage, but it, this one is just designed for using on the cloud like AWS, like Amazon Web Service Services, uh, AWS, and you can pay uh, for the time and I mean capacity that you're using. So it's just pay only for what you use. This is the uh, cloud uh, way of using the resources. And it, it is it has better performance and uh, the high availability is also better than the untap select. Uh, so you're using this one on the combination of the, for example, AWS. And the way it works is that um, so you need uh, you imagine that you have this is your on premise. And you have your storage on premise. And then this is the cloud like AWS. So you need uh, to have a bunch of services in place, like you need a cloud manager and you, know, you need to have on command system manager, unified manager and other. There are some packages and some softwares from NetApp that you need to use to just make this running up and running. But overall, I just want to give you an idea uh, what is the big picture of the, uh, the installing the uh, uh, ONTAP cloud. Uh, but definitely we need some software for just facilitating this connection and on the AWS we can just run um, one instance of the untap cloud here let's say this is your untap cloud and untap cloud and here you can just serve NFS protocol you can serve iSCSI and you can serve the SIFS protocol to the your machines up here and the cloud they can just access through these different protocols so there's no fiber channel uh, but you can have iSCSI for uh, block block storage access and uh, you can just uh, use different technologies and move around the data volumes between these two uh, locations so there is a technology we will talk about this one later uh, but there's a technology called snap mirror so we can snap mirror or we can just copy one volume from the on-premises storage to the cloud one or vice versa so it's a really really good technology it's based on the Amazon EBS and I'm a, if I'm not sure if you're familiar with Amazon cloud or uh, Amazon Web Services and EBS is stand for uh, Elastic Block Store and uh, also it works based on the EC2 of the uh, AWS which is standing for Elastic Compute Cloud which is just running virtual machines on the top of the AWS. So it's really really a cool thing that you can just have uh, AWS for your um, maybe your DR site, you can just copy your volumes, your snap mirror your volumes to the AWS, or you can use these servers here for your customer customer facing application. 
because uh, you know that the Amazon it has uh, different technologies based on the geographical locations. Um, it has availability zones and it has caching multiple places around the world. So it's a good idea to use this uh, technology and start serving data from the AWS. So uh, there are some limitation with the ONTAP cloud, but mostly uh, it supports most of the technologies like snap mirror, like compression, deduplication, and uh, snapshot technologies. And uh, most of the technologies that we can use here on-premise, we can use them also on the AWS side.